DJ Sass is here. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How was your day? Uh, perfect. Sun was shining, 26 degrees. Uh, beautiful skiing. Good. Very good. Uh, can you tell us about the story of mood music? Uh, well, you know, it's a, it's a long story because we started 15 years ago in Finland, where I used to live back then, where actually I'm born. And uh, we just wanted to do a label with a friend of mine. And it ended up that I started doing it, you know. And I, the first releases were mine, and now after 100 releases and 15 CDs, album releases, we are. I'm living in Berlin and we are still there, after, so I'm happy. <laughs> Is there upcoming new releases from Mood Music? Yes, I just released an album from Martin Dawson uh, called Sunday Smoking. It's a full-length album and it's the first album we only did digitally, and that's going to be singles uh, coming out on vinyl. So we still do vinyl as well, you know, which is nice. How big is your vinyl collection? Uh, well, it's used to be very, very big. I've been selling some of the club stuff, which I don't really anymore play. But the jazz and disco and the house music, there is still for 5,000 for now. Have you ever thought of running a, your own club as you have been running the first house club in Finland? Not really, no, because I have, you know, I have the label, I have a studio where I produce everyday music, so it, I, don't, I wouldn't have the time. And you know, anyway, my, my, my real work is DJing and production. I don't want to be a club owner. Even if I would have the possibility, it would be lovely. And if I would ever do it, I would do it somewhere else than Germany. As you are DJing since 80s, what do you think about the music scenes in five years? Well, it goes in, it goes in circles, that's a fact. So house music comes you know, and goes, techno comes and goes, pop comes and goes. So, I like the mixture of it all now. I also like it back then, you know, it was very much uh, starting only the electronic scene and you know, and that's also how, how I was one of the people who kind of like, I was a kid back then, but I, I, I played records, I was 16 and you know, people danced and I, it was the start. I can't really say if it was, uh, you know, good or bad, but uh, you know, that's, uh, music was good back then, it's better now, I would say, because it, it, it's, it's a progress, you know, it's a progress. So, what is the biggest hit that came out from Sunday Music? From Sunday Music, I think the biggest hit was the first one called John by Hendrik Schwartz. And uh, it was a special record because the label was special. It was something, a collaboration between me and Hendrik. And uh, we, we did only a very limited run of the first vinyl record. And it, we did the sleeves on our own. We taped the sleeves, you know, we cut the papers and, you know, it was a big, big job, you know, and we never thought it would got, get big. And at the end of the day, you know, we repressed, repressed, repressed. And that's also, was, that was one of the early big Henrik Schwartz hits. So it was a great, great time. Do you have new release upcoming with Henrik Schwartz? Actually, uh, me and Henrik hasn't had time to work together because he's been, you know, busy with his career and his kids, of course, with me the same, I have a family and the label, uh, but we I have a 15 years compilation coming out in the autumn on Mood Music and there's a track from me and Henrik called, you know, Jena, which is a very classic collaboration from a few years ago, but it's still very fresh because it's not like dance music nowadays. It's, it's not a club track, but it's a beautiful piece of electronic music. Do you have residency in Berlin? Yes, uh, I play some clubs as residents, not really, but I play like monthly nights, you know, in cookies. I do some uh, more parties in at Panorama Bar and weekend as well. Sometimes in Watergate. So I'm not really a resident because I'm traveling a lot, you know. But I still, I would say that I play cookies, you know, weekend, Bergheim frequently. And that's that's my clubs, you know, in Berlin. Who is throwing the best parties at the moment in Berlin? Well, it depends, you know, if it's like a deep house, mid midweek thing, cookies is very great, you know, they have a great programmation and the booker, you know, is great. Uh, on the weekend, Panorama Bar is still rocking as every time, you know. They, you know, they can be on one-off parties, they can be on-off parties, you know, small locations, illegal parties, and they're all good, so you can't really say. There's a lot of, not really competition, but a lot of, you know, good people doing parties and having a good time. And that's where new things happen and new things also build up, you know and new stars are coming. Do you have any upcoming release? Yes, I just released a single uh, on Mood Music uh, with a vinyl and a digital release and I'm working on an album since quite many years, you know, but I, I'm not really sure when I can finish this, but I will uh, probably get it out early 2012, you know, and that's a Sasse album on Mood Music. Which country do you enjoy most to play? 
I can't really say. Europe is so so not the same, but you know, there's so many good parties. You can't really say this is better than the other one. I I love it usually when I go and play. It's it's great people I meet. It's great parties. People throw, you know, and they do it from the heart. It can be big, small. It can be underground. It can be overground. Usually I just enjoy it and go to the next gig. <laughs> it's a normal thing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.